Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Studio Gen where I teach you everything related to creating content for YouTube, video editing, graphic design and more. In this video I'll show you how to get a custom URL on YouTube and also show you the requirements to get a custom URL. But even if you don't yet meet those requirements, there's an important step you need to make first to make sure you get the URL you want, since you can't actually choose the name of what you want later on. But first of all, here are the list of requirements. You need to have 100 or more subscribers. Your channel has to be at least 30 days old. You have to have an uploaded photo as a channel icon. And you need to upload channel art as well. If you haven't uploaded a photo as your channel icon or channel art, you can do that by logging into your YouTube account, then clicking on this circle icon of your channel. Then from the drop down menu, click on your channel. From here, you can click on the camera icon to change your channel art. Also make sure to click on the profile picture icon to edit what is essentially your channel icon. Your profile picture comes from your Google account, so click on edit and it will direct you there. Here you can upload or choose a picture. Now this is a very important step. The name you have here is going to be what Google automatically gives you for your custom link later on. So let's say you want this channel to be Fabulous Reviews, then this should be your name here. Click on the pencil icon to make these changes before you are eligible for a custom URL. So right here where it says name, we would change this to Fabulous Reviews. Sometimes you'll have this pop up just as name, so you can put the complete name you want, but other times it'll be first name and last name, and then just put Fabulous under first and Reviews under last because if you leave it as your actual name, then your custom URL will be your name, like in this case, Jeannie Joan. Now, if someone already has the custom URL of Fabulous Reviews, for example, then later on, Google will give you the option to add more to the custom URL, so you can add a suffix, so Fabulous Reviews 2020, for example, but you wouldn't be able to edit the Fabulous Reviews part. So this is something to consider when you're thinking about your custom URL, and once you've changed your name, you can go back to YouTube and check your subscriber amount. Now this is only one subscriber, but once this reaches 100, then I could get a custom URL. But for now, let me show you where you go to change it, and also I'm going to show you what it looks like when you can change it, as I'm going to create a custom URL live for you to watch how to do it. So we'll go back to the channel icon at the top, then click Settings. And from here, go to the left sidebar and click Advanced Settings. Then scroll down and you'll see Custom URL. It will say, this channel is not currently eligible for a custom URL if you still haven't met the 100 subscriber count. Now let's switch to what it will look like when you are eligible. So I have this channel which has just reached 100 subscribers. So I'll go to the profile icon in the top right corner. Again, we'll click on Settings, then Advanced Settings. Then it says you're eligible for a custom URL, claim it here. So I'll click claim it here. And now as you can see my name on my Google account was Sparkle English, so YouTube is letting me claim my custom URL as Sparkle English. The only other option they are offering me is to choose Sparkle English plus a suffix of my choice. But luckily for me no one has taken Sparkle English, but if they had I could click this and add something like Sparkle English Rocks or Sparkle English 2020. So I'll click on the URL I want, and then click that I agree to the terms of use, and click Claim URL. And instantly you'll be able to go to YouTube slash C, which stands for channel, slash Sparkle English or whatever your URL is and it'll redirect you to your YouTube channel. So the most important thing is to make sure you change your name in advance to what you want your channel to be later on so that you can get the custom URL of your choosing. Thanks for watching my tutorial and if you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel here at Studio Gen for more tutorials on creating content for YouTube, video editing, and design. See you in my next tutorial.